This video is going to show you how to make equivalent fractions. Now before we actually make equivalent fractions, I just want to take a second and remind you how equivalent fractions can be. So let's take a rectangle and let's say that we are going to split up this rectangle into three equal parts and I'm going to shade one part in. So I have the fraction one third. All right, now if you remember, equivalent fractions are comparing the same whole. So if I make a second rectangle that is the same size, and instead of splitting this one up into three parts, let's say I'm gonna split this one up into six parts. Okay, so this rectangle is split up into six parts instead of three. In order to make an equivalent fraction, in order to cover up the same amount of space, I would have to shade two out of the six sections. Now mine is a rough picture, so that's why it's not completely exact. But the idea is that comparing the same whole, if you have one out of three parts shaded in, if you take that same whole and you get two out of six parts, then they take up the same space. They are equivalent, so they're equal. Okay, so now that we are clear on what exactly equivalent fractions are, let's talk about starting with one and saying that we want to make another equivalent fraction. So let's say I have the fraction one-fifth, and I want to come up with a fraction that is equivalent to this fraction. When I'm trying to come up with another fraction, all I have to do is multiply the top and the bottom, so the numerator and the denominator of the fraction, by the same number. And actually, it doesn't really matter what number that is. So I'm just gonna do two as the example. If I um, multiply the numerator by two and the denominator by two, the new fraction that I'm going to get is 2 tenths. And I got that from doing 1 times 2 is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. So 2 tenths would be equivalent to 1 fifth. The reason that this works is because I'm multiplying the top number, the numerator, and the denominator by the same number. That's how I know that these two are equivalent fractions.